Good morning everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Kate. If you are not new, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Thursday. I think it's like 9 or so in the morning right now, but I woke up at 7 this morning and I figured we could have like a self-care day slash sick day vlog today since if you missed my last vlog, I just recently got like a cold. I don't even know how to describe it because I feel like my body was fighting it off so hard. Like I just kept having sneeze attacks and like my nose was stuffy for a few days, but now my nose is like perfectly clear, but my throat is still a little bit scratchy and I just like don't feel 100% just yet. And so I just feel like tired, a little bit achy. My body feels sore. So I think that I like my body was just fighting it off so hard. It's so weird. Like I haven't been really, really sick since I had COVID last January. Like I had 104 degree fever. Like I was, it was awful. And so I haven't been like really, really sick ever since then, knock on wood. And so I feel like every time I've gotten sick since then, like I just like start to feel sick and then it's not that bad and it just like goes away. So I still feel kind of crappy, but I just figured we could have like a self-care day, sick day, like just a lazy day. Um, I feel like I need it, like my body's craving it. I just feel, like I don't feel 100% myself. So I figured that would be a fun little vlog. I already had breakfast this morning and did like my morning routine. I'm just putting on some lip balm because my lips are so dry every single morning. This has been my favorite lip balm just to like throw on throughout the day. And then I'm also going to spritz my face a little bit with my La Roche Posay. I think it's literally just water in a can, but it just feels so nice and like soothing on my face. Like it just feels so good. I'm gonna do a little spritz of that. These are new pajamas from Victoria's Secret. I think that this is my, whoa. Like, do you see this? I literally shed hair, like there's no tomorrow. I ordered a bunch of pairs of pajamas, but I ordered these ones after I ordered like five pairs. So now in total, I think I ordered like eight, which I'm like a psycho right now for pajamas, but these ones are like the satin material. And I think they're so cute. They're so comfortable and they're so, just comfy to sleep in and I get like really sweaty at night and so I don't like pajamas that I feel like restricted in and like it's tight and not comfortable and these are like very loose and airy and they're very nice to sleep in so those are my cute PJs I will link them below but if you're not subscribed already make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any upcoming vlogs so I'm gonna show you how I make my matcha i like finally cracked the code on how to make it taste good because i've been like experimenting with it and trying to test out like how to make it taste good and like have me actually want to drink it because the first time i made it was a complete fail like i just did not know how to properly make it and like make it taste good i find it hard to believe that anybody actually likes the taste of matcha like if you do props to you but I just it doesn't it just doesn't taste good so I finally figured out how to make it and make it taste good I like posted it on my Instagram stories I think it was yesterday and then I also I think it was like a couple weeks ago I asked you guys how you make your matcha taste good and I took a lot of your guys's advice and kind of like compiled it all together so I'm gonna show you how I make it because it's really really good and if you want to get into matcha and you like don't like the taste of it i promise you'll like it so i just take a little bowl like this put a little bit of water in there put it in the microwave for like 16 seconds because i guess it's not supposed to be like boiled water but it needs to be warm water and then for my actual matcha i have the peak matcha packets the sun goddess matcha so i just take a little packet open her up also i have jazz on the tv in the background if you can hear that and then i'm gonna grab 
a little fork. So this part is like crucial. I was making the mistake of adding like cinnamon and maple syrup after I already poured the matcha over my milk. So the trick is to put it in the matcha like before you whisk it. So I like to do quite a bit of cinnamon because I just like really don't like the taste of matcha. And cinnamon is very good for you by the way. And then I'm gonna take some maple syrup. Is this like focused? I can't tell. Pour that in there. I don't like to do too much because it kind of like defeats the purpose of a healthy little drink. And then I don't have a matcha whisk, so I literally just take my fork and whisk everything together. I've read that it's supposed to like get frothy at the top and that's when you know that you've like mixed it enough, but I don't have a proper whisk, so I just use my fork. So I just filled my glass with a bunch of ice. And then for milk, I have the milk almond milk, which I normally don't always buy this just because it's so expensive, but I specifically bought it for overnight oats as well as matcha. So I'm just gonna shake it and then pour it in my glass. Then I take my matcha, pour it over. And then I like to add a little bit more cinnamon on top because I love cinnamon. So there she is, so cute. I just got these straws in from Amazon. I saw these on Rachel Ottenreath's vlogs and I was like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. But they were sold out for like the longest time and they finally got back in stock, so I ordered some. I swear like mixing the cinnamon and the maple syrup with the matcha makes all the difference in the world because I was doing the cinnamon and maple syrup afterwards, but it kind of like dilutes the taste of the matcha a little bit when I mix them together. I'm also gonna take my vitamins right now. I have my seed. I've also been taking ashwagandha lately just because it's supposed to be very good for like stress, anxiety, all that stuff. And then my balance supplements from Alani. These are what I take every single day. I only have two left of my seed supplements. So I think I have another bottle, so we're good. I literally forgot this step. I also added some of this sweet cream creamer from Chobani. I like totally forgot. I was like drinking it and then I was like, something's missing so i like to do a little splash of that as well for some extra sweetness this is like the best coffee creamer ever it's so good i also did another instacart order i've been like obsessed with using instacart it's just like so easy and i've been loving it so this is like my third instacart order so i really want to make bolognese later for dinner so i got rayo's tomato basil sauce that's like my favorite sauce spaghetti and then cheeto needed cat food i got some perfect bars i've been obsessed with these they're so yummy and then i also want to try out this milk instead of the milk almond milk this is elmhurst so i got the cashew one and then the almond one regular milk some gelato and then that was it so that's my little mini instacart order that should be here i think before like 2 p.m or something so that's what i got but i've just been loving it it's so easy especially where i don't feel good and like don't feel like going to the store obviously i'm not even sponsored by them i just i think it's such a good idea um but it does kind of get expensive like with the tips and everything and there's like a service fee but your first three deliveries are free so this is actually my third delivery so they won't be free anymore after this but i mean just for like times like these where i don't like want to go to the store um it's like perfect or if you don't have time so i've been loving that but i honestly think i'm gonna go in the shower now it's 10 o'clock um i just don't feel like working out today clearly i don't feel like i should I just want to let my body rest um maybe later i'll do like a stretch or something or like yoga i don't know for now i just like want to be clean and take a shower i feel like greasy and gross i want to wash my hair today too so i always feel greasy and gross when i need to wash my hair even though i 
literally wash my hair like every other day and a lot of people say that that's not good for your hair you should have like less hair washes but i honestly feel like my hair is the healthiest and looks the healthiest when i wash it every other day and i feel like everybody's hair type is different so for me personally i wash it every other day and i feel like that's what works for me and my hair type I just found this Loops face mask in all of my skincare stuff. If you've been following my vlogs for a while, you know that I used to be obsessed with Loops face masks. I used to do these like all the time throughout the summer. And then I thought that I was all out of them, but I just realized I have one left. So I figured we could do it this morning. These are like so fun. They're so cute. They're one of my favorite sheet masks. It says for nights out, special occasions, in rendezvous even though i'm literally not going anywhere they're just so fun and cute i feel all nice and clean i love taking a shower when i don't feel good just got a notification that my instacart order is finally checked out so that should be here soon i forgot like how many layers of like plastic this has because it has two it's like two separate pieces and they both have plastic on each side. I've been like obsessed with pink lately though. So I love how this is pink. I look like I literally have a goatee. <laughs> like aren't they just so cute and fun? I just love the material. I think it's super fun. So I'm gonna leave this on for a little bit and do some computer work while I have this on my face. They look so scary and so cute at the same time, but I love these masks. My Instacart order just got delivered. They actually left it outside of my building, um, but usually I have them come straight to my door because I don't trust people around here like some people steal stuff like I've had packages stolen because like Amazon or whatever carrier it is will sometimes leave it outside like they won't bring it into my building that's like why I always have them come to my door I like give them an access code so they can come in but she must have not have saw my delivery instructions and then one of the elevators is out of service it literally took me like 15 minutes just to wait for the elevator and to get back into my apartment. My arm is like so sore from holding this bag because I have the milk and also the cat food. So my arm is like so sore. But anyways, got my perfect bars. This is the best flavor. These are so good. I got Cheetos cat food. This is what I get him usually. It's the Purina Cat Chow Naturals. I've heard good things about this, but I'm not entirely sure so if you have a cat yourself or know more than i do please let me know like what food you think is the best and then this is the milk the brand is called elmhurst so this one is the almond milk one and then the cashews so i'm excited to try those and see how they taste regular two percent milk spaghetti tomato sauce and then the gelato this looks so yummy this is like my favorite flavor of the Talenti. I'm actually gonna have one of these right now because I'm hungry and want a little snack. These are my favorite snack lately. I just, oh my gosh, they're so good. They're seriously like the best tasting protein bar I've ever had. And like I said, this flavor, so good. vlog it's a little bit later it's four o'clock i've just been chilling in bed for a little bit while i finish up some computer work i just finished up editing some stuff that i had to send in for brand approval and then now i'm like so obsessed with airplanes right now and just the way that they work that sounds so random but last night i watched 
the new documentary that just came out about that Malaysian flight that literally went missing in 2014. It's literally three hours long basically because it has like three parts to it and each part is like an hour long. So I was glued to the TV last night watching that. It gave me so much anxiety and I never used to be scared of like flying and traveling ever since i went to arizona this past september it wasn't the best experience like also i had a layover both ways so i literally had to be on four flights um just to go to arizona which is crazy all of the flights were just they had terrible turbulence and just the landing was bad and just so many little things that just made me anxious and then watching that documentary made me even more anxious even though obviously a plane just going missing is not the usual and like the chances of that happening is very low but i don't know it was just like a crazy crazy documentary and so anyways i was watching this girl her name's stevie and she is like a software engineer and she like flies herself to work in her own plane which i think is so cool it was on my for you page because i've been watching or not my for you page it was on my youtube home page because i've just been like watching plane stuff i'll just show you so this is her and she like just flies herself to work she has like gopros in her plane and it's just so interesting to watch and i don't even know anything about aviation or anything but just to watch her like just use all the controls and just I don't know it's so so interesting and it's like kind of calming my anxiety down about like flying in airplanes not that I'm even going anywhere anytime soon I don't know that's what I've been doing for the past like 30 minutes I got completely sidetracked even though I'm kind of like done for work for the day so that's all done but if you haven't watched that documentary it's really really good like I literally didn't look at my phone one single time while I was watching it which says a lot because when I get bored I just always check my phone it's also very very sad just these poor families just not knowing like what the hell happened to their family members and their children and their wives and their husbands like it's just heart-wrenching to see all these families just thought i would mention that i also made myself some tea because my throat has been feeling scratchy this is yogi tea and i also just put in some honey in there as well so i think i'm gonna get started on making dinner soon but just wanted to catch you up say hi because I kind of stopped vlogging for a little bit. I just had to get some work done. I'm gonna put some jazz on the TV while I cook some dinner because I can't function without some sort of background noise. So I'm just gonna go on YouTube. Yeah, this is what I had on earlier. Positive jazz, sweet March jazz. So I'm gonna have this on while I do my cooking. This is like an easier version of bolognese if you don't have a lot of time i just use rayo sauce instead of like making my own because you know saves so much time so i love this brand just because the ingredients it only has these ingredients and a lot of other sauces just have like sugar and just like a bunch of other stuff and this tastes so good like it tastes like homemade sauce so i really like it i have my spaghetti I'm gonna do some chopped up onion and then I have minced garlic, which is so much easier than chopping garlic because honestly, sometimes I don't feel like chopping garlic. So that always comes in handy. I'm gonna do two celery stalks and two carrots. And then I thought that this was beef when I bought it at the store, but it's actually ground turkey, which is fine. But honestly, bolognese tastes so much better with beef but i guess we're having turkey bolognese so i'm gonna get started and chop off my veggies i'm just starting to boil some water for my pasta and then i just have some olive oil in my pan so i can brown the meat
so it's been a little bit it's almost eight o'clock right now as you saw i just took a bath did my skincare i'm like all ready for bed i have my pjs on the same ones that i wore this morning because i just put them on last night so they're still clean just put on my hatch light i'm like testing out the colors on the app because I always forget that there's like so many colors you can choose from. I was in a blue vibe tonight. So we have some blue on the hatch light. I just filled up my water bottle with some ice and some fresh water. I'm like so thirsty. The bath made me like wicked parched. So I just filled my water and I also brought in my journals in here as well as my laptop because I think I'm just going to watch some YouTube or Netflix right now and just chill in bed for the rest of the night. I think I'm gonna watch some Olivia Jade on YouTube. I was like obsessed with her old vlogs like back in like 2018, 2017. Her vlogs from like that era, so iconic and I feel like so many other people feel the same way. So I'm either gonna binge watch her new videos or her old ones. I don't know, I just have like a weird habit of watching people's old vlogs i like love it so that's what i'm gonna do and then i also have my five minute journal which i showed you and then my planner so i can plan my day i'm also gonna wear my blue light glasses because it's nighttime and i usually like to wear these at nighttime when i'm on my computer or my phone because they really help prevent headaches for me so it's almost eight o'clock like i said yeah this is like pretty much what i'm gonna do for the rest of the night and i'll probably go to bed early at like 9 30. so that's the end of today's vlog i hope you enjoyed i had such a fun chill stay in the house all day type of day which was much needed i feel very good so hopefully tomorrow when i wake up i feel nice and refreshed for Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. I'm so excited. I love the weekend and just Friday in general. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would make me so so happy. I also have a podcast. If you are new here, I would love it if you check that out on Spotify and Apple Podcasts if you want. And follow me on Instagram. All the things, everything is always linked down below. And I love you so much. I will see you in my next vlog.